New tonight at 11, neighbors in the short north say they've seen more crime recently and want law enforcement to get involved. And now police are getting ready to start a new program in that neighborhood. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live tonight in the short north. So what can you tell us about the safety program? Colleen and Carrie, police just told residents about this new program tonight. They say it'll involve officers working overtime, specifically here in the short north on certain days. Depending on who you talk to in the short north, some are extremely concerned with crime in the neighborhood. In addition to the shootings, there have been armed robberies um, that, that are not just along High Street. While some say they feel completely safe. We're enjoying being here and have never once felt like our, uh, we were at risk uh, in any way, shape or form. On Wednesday night, various neighborhood groups, city leaders and police had a virtual meeting to discuss crime in the short north. Deputy Police Chief Jennifer Knight says after the last meeting, they wanted to try to find solutions. Tuesday, she told residents about the new short north interdiction project. Obviously, police resources are at a premium and we have the city to cover, but we really felt like there needed to be something to fill those gaps in the short north area. She says it'll be a special team of up to a couple sergeants and six officers working overtime exclusively in the short north. Because it'll be overtime, Knight says funding for the program will come from the short north alliance. She also says some calls in the area that aren't usually responded to as quickly will get a faster response from this team. This group of officers dedicated to this area would be able to respond almost immediately to those things. Vinny Rivera has lived in the neighborhood for 30 years. He says he's noticed an increase in the crime too and thinks it stems from an uptick citywide. Uh, I'm aware of it. I don't believe it's uh, terrible. I mean, I think it's trending not in the right direction, but I'm hopeful that it's going to abate eventually. Um, and according to Deputy Chief Knight, they tested this no, new program on a smaller scale last weekend, plan on adding to it this weekend, and then plan on running it for at least eight weeks. She says it'll run, the, these officers will be out with flexible hours, but most likely from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, and possibly Thursdays and Sundays. Live and local for you in the short north, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.